Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number two reaction. All right, the previous episode. It was the first episode of a brand new show, um, Spy Family. It has been a great start. Um, we met two of the uh, the main characters. One is Twilight. The other one is the little girl Anya. And um, yeah, so the whole thing starts with as like you know we know like Twilight is a spy and uh, uh, Anya being the Esper or a telepath and uh, like um, uh, Twilight being given a mission where he has to get a like you know kid and to do that like you know she when he goes to the orphanage and get like you know, adopts one of the kids uh, one thing that he doesn't know is Anya can read minds and you know using that Anya actually tries to like you know go along with what uh you know tries to make um what do you call it um tries to make uh twilight more comfortable with her uh but you know she's a kid she kind of like you know does weird stuff and <laughs> you know like twilight is like also like you know having trouble with uh handling her because he never did anything like that before like you know he's never been a part of a family like that so you know like stuff happens Anya messes with stuff um, like you know the the bad people they get to know that Twilight is here and she gets kidnapped and Twilight with his uh, like you know uh, what do you call it like special spy skills was able to defeat everyone and you know like saves Anya and gives her the opportunity to go back to the police station and you know get to a different orphanage but Anya you know like Anya really likes uh, Twilight and you know she was like no I'm going to stay with him by the end of it she says like you know like my dad is a liar obviously she he, she can read his mind but she, he's a cool liar and that's how it starts and she gets into the school with his uh, with her own like you know like uh, power with like not using the uh, mind reading power because no one knew the answer behind beside her but the problem here is they need a mom now, now i don't really understand what type of school like asks like yeah you need a mom otherwise you won't be able to get in a school i have no idea what type of school this is that's like a weird rule but yeah they need to get a mother so let's see <laughs> i'm guessing we're probably get going to get the second main character of this series in this episode let's see so yeah let's get started this is episode number two of spy family so i'll put in the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, is this the opening? Ooh, nice. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Holding the umbrella. Okay, this is an interesting design of the opening. Okay. Okay, the song is also really good. Oh my god, they're going to do a lot of family stuff we could see. Like, makes sense, the title of the show is Spy Family. Oh, okay. Tricks, okay. 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 Upset, okay, stomach, what? Wow, okay, that was a good opening. What the? Oh. <laughs> that, that's his friend, isn't it? Frankie. Hmm, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> Peanuts. Operation Tricks. Okay. Whites. Hmm. Eden College. That's the name. Okay. Oh, and Apple is the logo of Eden College. 
secure a wife mission too. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon Your oh there's a girl Your that's his, her name Oh my god Oh no no Wait the voice is Shinobu's voice from Demon Slayer Well, I've seen the opening and I know that pretty well. Yeah, that's that's Shinobu's voice from Demon Slayer. Wait, what? Okay, that's Damn. Okay. Yeah, how do you know so much? Hmm. Partner. Oh yeah. What the hell is wrong with these people? Yo, these... Ah! Toxic! Briar Residence. Still employed. Oh! Hmm. Chance I might get promoted. Hmm. Hmm. Up. Nah. Oh. That's a lie, but still. <laughs> Dominic. Oh my god. Wait, there's like... Oh, he probably knows one of the people in the office. Uh. Well, you're stuck now. <laughs> well, perfect timing. <laughs> My brother's promotion. Um. Shopkeeper. Ooh. Oh, shopkeep. Okay, so it's code name or something. Oh, damn, the face change. Oh, my God, here we go. Oh, ah, he's taking out his knife. Her knife. Oh, what is that? No, it's not a knife. Yo! Okay, what type of a weapon is that? It's like a needle, huge needle. Damn her face. Oh, well. Okay. Ibarahime, our thorn princess. Hmm.
Mm. <laughs> Wait, she tore it. Oh my god. Cleaning is only the oh my god, cleaning, okay. Yeah. Cleaning. Scruffy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you're the yeah, you're the most important person here. <laughs> Which is literally going to infiltrate the school. <laughs> uh, ah, spy boss. There you go. Oh yeah, I wonder. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bad circumstances would go over. Damn. Anya's. <laughs> Look at her. Push. Ah, shopping. Okay, she can. <laughs> so <Sold> off. <laughs> well, it's probably from you. She can read your mind. That's why. Arrested once over. Oh. Ah, I think is that is that your yes, there you go. Okay, perfect. Oh, he realized that. Was she there? Yeah, she was, okay. Your briar. Hmm. Civil servants. Hmm. Oh, yo, you got busted. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, she's going to misunderstand that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, she, she's reading the mind. Wait, what? <laughs> well, it, it's already out. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Come on, she knows. There you go. She's like, okay, Anya can do something. There you go. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, obviously. There you go.
Mm. Oh, she's not lying, you know. Mm. Okay. All right. There you go. <laughs> ah, yes. Anya's like, what the hell is this guy even saying? <laughs> Wait, what's happened? Wait, there was like two conversations happening. What was that? I wasn't able to concentrate. <laughs> Peanuts. Rivet, okay, it's a code word. Yep. That's a agent. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Hmm. Saturday. Oh, is it on the same day as the Mm. <laughs> he just took him with him. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she's waiting. Yeah, he's going to take a little bit of time. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thirty-eight. Yeah, you're getting ready f late for the party, you know. There you go. Wow. Okay, this guy is a. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yep. <laughs> Yo, look forward. Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> this Oh no. Uh, he's coming. He's surely coming. Ah. Uh, it's just. Oh my God! These girls. Uh, what the hell is oh my god uh, oh it's a brother it's a brother isn't it oh no 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 oh this is dominic the other guy okay Will he lie? This girl. Well, it's just... Oh my god, she's... Oh no! Oh no! She's like, no, I should not think like that. Hmm. 
You didn't. Oh. Uh, <coughs> no, this girl is Wow, okay Well, I He's coming probably He's going to get in now Yep, there Oh my god, yo You should have cleaned He just went with husband. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I just fell down, you know, like a car almost run me over. Oh, okay, that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, she's going to kick you in your face now. Yep, I knew it. She's going to kick. Oh my god. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Dad got you. <laughs> Ranger son. What? Well, that was probably like a... Yeah. Cover. <laughs> He did his research on her after that. Mm. <laughs> yep. The screen is broken. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh my god Okay Okay Wait, then the whole cover will be out now Oh Yeah, what's he going to say now? Ah! Okay, understandable. <laughs> yeah, she trusts people too easily. I saw that before. Is, is this going to be that scene? I don't remember. I remember that scene so much. I think this will be that scene. Which I probably will never forget. Patience. Ah, yes. Heard about it, you know. Pretty effective. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the sound effect. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Yep, those are all patients, you know. All patients. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> yeah, this is that scene. I remember now. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, one of the best scenes are coming. I, I remember that still. I feel like... I, I feel like this is the one? Yeah, yeah, this is the scene. Oh my god, I remember. Oh my god, this was like one of the most amazing scenes. Oh, I'm waiting for this. Oh! Here it is, here it is! Here it is! Here it is! Oh! Yes, there you go. One of the most amazing scenes I've ever. Okay, that's it. It's like, you know, read in a manga ever. Like, you know, like I, as you could probably guess, I m forgot most of the things of this, like, you know, manga as I've read it quite a long while ago. The first uh, few chapters or so. Uh, like, you know, I, I didn't remember anything about the whole, like, you know, that situation, him coming up with the, like, you know, like just bleeding and everything. I forgot everything. This particular scene never went through my, like, an out of my mind. Like, I was so impressed. I, I, you know what? I feel like the manga was able to do it even a little bit more better. I think, you know? Like, I, 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 I think because that, that scene is still ingrained in my mind so much. Like, I feel like they were able to do it in one panel, you know? Like, the whole scene where you can see that they, they put the uh, ring on, uh, not ring, but <laughs> the grenade ring on her finger. And, you know, there's like a blast happening behind. As far as I can remember, they, they did that whole thing in one panel, you know? Like, both of them were sitting where with him, like, you know, like, putting the ring on her hand. And the, there was like an explosion behind. And the whole, like, you know, sentence, like, till our death, what, what, till... What do us part? Something like that. What did he say? Just a sec. No matter what hardship await us, let us be there for one another until my mission, until my killing, do us apart. This part. This whole, as far as I can remember, this whole, like, you know, this thing was, like, in you know, one place. And, ah, boy. I never forgot it. It's, it's still ingrained in my mind. I probably never will. And there you go. That was that scene. And oh boy, it was amazing. I, I was waiting for this scene. And again, like and after this, I remember nothing. I remember nothing. And I, I don't think I'd even read after this that much. I think I read one or two more chapters after this. And it was still ongoing at that moment. So, and then I stopped reading. And, you know, like I didn't catch him, like kind of, uh, pick it up again. And I forgot most of the things. And But this one scene, particular scene, never left my mind and there you go i'm very happy this this whole section was animated like this it was amazing oh boy so there you go this is the second episode of this season uh, uh not season sorry this uh show and uh all right uh the first thing we see is twilight trying to find uh women who are unmarried and you know like who can marry as soon as possible so at first what was his name? Uh, Rog, Rog, what was Roger? Was that his name? The other friend. I don't remember his name. Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm sure I'll get to know again. But he... <laughs> at first he was, you know, using the uh, disguise. <laughs> but Twilight was like, no, it, it won't happen. Like, you know, it's impossible. It, it will just be found out. <laughs> And uh, Twilight is just thinking what to do, how to like, you know, uh, get uh, like, you know, like a person so quickly, you know, who will be ready to marry him. And because there's like, you know, there's like a time limit you have that the whole interview is going to happen. So, yeah. Now. <clears throat> here we shift to the other person, the other main character that is Jor. Yeah, that's her name. Uh, her perspective where she and her co-worker 
are talking and the co-workers are talking about how like spies are like you know like everyone like th this is one thing i'm kind of like you know i i think which i was kind of surprised about like there's like they're talking about how there's like a whole spy boom has come and there's like so much spies that like people are actually paranoid about like you know someone being a spy or something they were like being arrested they were talking about some lady being arrested who was like a spy or something and the whole thing of oh this is like an unmarried lady she is like you know like uh like you know a lot older and she has been all alone for like you know up until now this that she is suspicious she must be a spy this whole thing is coming up which is why your was being suspected you know like they were talking behind her back and saying stuff like oh look at her like you know she doesn't even have anyone you know do like any partner she is just unmarried alone or like you know and she's like 27 years old or something they said and they're like oh like <laughs> who knows maybe she's a spy ha 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 they're just laughing you know like making fun of her this and that like <laughs> and oh boy these three ladies were ah uh, typical toxic you know office behavior i guess like un unable being not able to uh like you know what can i say like being jealous of her like that was basically it that I'm, I'm pretty sure they were basically jealous of her you know like um something so yeah like they're just kind of like you know making fun of her in a very like you know bad way just talking with her in a very arrogant way you can say and uh you know like just yeah that was that was that and uh, then this girl she is like okay so now i'm going to have a party uh you know come to the party with us oh be sure to make you take your you can bring your partner with you and uh, yeah so that was that like at first i really wasn't like and i thought like that 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 was like very we could see very blatantly that was like their whole toxic behavior was like you know uh, being going on in that place so i was not sure like you know how toxic they are which i was able to realize by the end of this episode where we kind of saw especially that girl that blonde haired girl who was with uh, dominic i think that that guy um so you know we, we could see that how at how, what extent she was a toxic type of a person and oh boy yeah like i'm glad that happened in the end <laughs> but okay so uh she goes back and she talks to her brother uh, her brother's name is yuri yeah i think that was his name um and uh the brother is like a little bit concerned about her and he talks about how like you know he's going to get promoted and if he gets promoted he's probably gonna have to go somewhere else and that's why he is concerned about her because he doesn't want to leave her all alone and you know if he if she doesn't have like a partner with her he will be very uh, worried to like leave her alone and go like you know get his promotion and he talks about how like you know uh, she like you know she worked hard for them uh, for him and his like you know the family uh, and uh, you know like she's he's very grateful for that uh, <coughs> so you know that's why he is feeling like you know like he, he I'm, I'm sure he wants to somehow repay her back for that and uh, since he's getting promoted he feels probably bad about the situation he he thinks that oh i'm going to leave my sister behind while up until now uh, my sister was with me all along and she helped me out up until now you know like uh, like made sure everything is fine but now that i'm getting a promotion i'm going to leave her behind and go away he's probably feeling bad for that that's why he was concerned he was asking her about you know like whether he she has someone and as soon as she said like oh yeah i have like you know a person with me a partner with me who's going to the party this weekend it'll be okay and he he was like you know relieved he was like oh that's good and <laughs> but still there's like a little still little a little concern he was a little bit concerned as to who the other person was i don't know if it's a good person or not uh maybe his her sister his sister is getting um you know um, tricked or something so he's like you know what there's like you know your, your company uh, that like you know dominic is there uh, i'll ask him about the whole situation because i'm concerned that maybe it's like someone who's trying to take advantage of you or something so there you go <laughs> your is like oh my god now what am i going to do
and uh, <clears throat> okay so she was she was thinking of that suddenly another phone call comes in and some soft shopkeepers calls her and is like uh he's like oh you have a new job and okay what was the job uh just a sec she's like oh shopkeeper i'm sorry i didn't realize it was you good morning i have a client for you thorn princess uh the royal hotel room 1307 okay that was so that was like you know assassinate you have to assassinate them okay interesting thing that i realize now uh so basically what is what this thing is um the like both of both her and um, you know twilight both of them are like people working uh in the shadows but i feel like she's the person who works even more in the shadows like this is the thing uh twilight is a spy but you could say that he's part of the government you know like a government spy even though he keeps in the, the shadows doesn't let anyone knows you know like he's working for the government as far as i could tell so i think so at least so he like you know like he's that type of a person while yoru here is an assassin and as far as i know like you know like assassins are definitely in the even even more in the shadows than a spy like, you know like assassins are like like do the dirty job you could say and uh, while you know like spies they basically infiltrate like you know do stuff you know <clears throat> like you know gain gain gather information this that you know uh, while assassins they do the cleanup job as they say as she said in the end you know like so she i feel like she's a person who's like in more in the shadows like both of them work in the shadows but she's more like you know deeper into the shadow more like you know in the in the dark side of the like you know like of the world or something uh so okay so yeah she gets in and oh boy i don't know what the hell that is that weapon that she used it looks like a huge i don't know huge needle you know the ones that you put in your hair it kind of looks like that it's like a huge one and uh, <laughs> she uses she used them to just you know like obviously like attack kill them one after the other just everyone dead you know in a matter of seconds and she's like oh my god my my dress got torn um my <laughs> like you know my hand the hands just like you know filled with blood it's just washing everything and uh, <clears throat> she she like you know like she kind of thinks about the whole situation she's like yeah it's hopeless how am i going to get someone you know like a person like me who is like this you know working in the shadows and all that stuff so she's depressed uh, another interesting uh, like you know contrast that i was able to realize here is that um twilight is actually like you know tr trying to find a wife for his job while she like obviously she was also trying to find uh you know like a husband for her job as well because you know her like you know like everyone's won't put like and won't be suspicious of her then if she's married uh but at the same time i feel like she genuinely wants someone you know to be her partner and to spend time with and i think this is like another contrast that i could see like twilight is completely business mode because of that he's like wanting like you know someone while she there is a part of her that really longs for other person like you know uh, a person other than her who probably knows her supports her and which is like an obviously her which would be her husband um so there's a part of her i feel like that is really genuinely like you know, wants someone to be with her unlike twilight which will probably change in the future you know <clears throat> okay so uh the next uh, scene we see like you know the friend brings uh a lot of like you know what do you call it information about unmarried like you know uh, uh women who are who can like you know who can marry in a matter of like you know uh one or two days because they are like you know very short on time so he's like you know checking out all of that out while anna is just watching watching spy like you know shows <laughs> and uh, now another thing comes up here where uh, they talk about how Anya doesn't look like a princess from a rich family. So they'll have to work on that as well because this place that they're going, this school, is a, 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 like, you know, a very prestigious school or something. So she, you know, she needs to get ready like that. <clears throat> That's why 
uh, Twilight takes her to buy clothes. <laughs> I love the fact, like, you know, Anya's little antics are really, like, you know, funny, amusing. It's kind of cute, you know, like, the way <laughs> when the lady was taking her. She's like, oh, am I going to be sold off somewhere? <laughs> that was funny. And here again, like, you know, like, Twilight just tries to find, find out if there's, like, an unmarried person here. He's like, oh, the proprietor has married and won't happen. And then talks about, like, you know, how the other person is, like, you know, suspicious and all that. And then while she was thinking about all of that, Yor comes in. And he's like, damn, she got behind me and I didn't even realize that. And she, she, he's like, oh, what is happening here? Like, am I really, like, you know, letting my guard down so much? And he tries to, like, you know, find out who this your person is, like, who's racking his brain. And he, it was, she was in, in the list. And Yor says, like, why are you staring at me? Like, she didn't even look at him, you know? She felt his gaze. And, uh, <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm just admiring how, like, you know, beautiful you are. <laughs> Everything was going well. In comes Anya. Chichi, how do I look? And she's like, oh damn, she's married. You know, he's like, oh my god, you know, I better run, like, you know, go away from here because I was just going to, like, you know, I was just trying to woo a person who is married. And then she's like, oh, if, if like, you know, the wife gets to know, maybe she'll try to kill me. And then she's like, oh, I would kill her if she tries to, like, you know, kill me or something. I like <laughs> the way her brain works. <laughs> the way her brain works. <laughs> she says, I mean, if it happened to me, I'd just kill them back. <laughs> And she talks about being an assassin. Anya is like, an assassin? <laughs> oh my god. And Anya realizes what's happening. Obviously, she, she can read mind. She's like, she's like, oh damn, I came here and I just ruined the moment, you know, completely. Now she thinks that my dad is married and, you know, there's that. Anya's like, you know, you know, I'm so excited. A spy and an assassin. This is like the best thing. So let me just be the wink, uh, like, you know, wink person. Um, and she's just like, oh, I'm so starved for a love from a mother. <laughs> and there you go. It works. Uh, she's like, wait, you're not married? And he's like, oh, I just, you know, like, I think he said something about. Where is that part? Um, are you not with a wife? Oh, I actually lost my wife two years ago. There you go. So yeah, and she's like, okay, then can you help me out? And she talks about the whole situation, talks about the brother, you know, and says like, yo, I need someone to act like my, you know, partner for at least for that moment. And uh, and uh, Twilight is like, oh, perfect timing. Then he's like, all right, I'll help you if you help me out with the interview of the school. Because, yeah, I want my daughter to have the best, you know, <laughs> best education. And she's like, oh, he's, he, he's so nice. And well, Anya's like, oh, dad, you're a liar. <laughs> now, this is one thing that we can, we can see here is your believes people a bit too much. You know, like whatever that someone says, she just believes it, takes it at face value. That's another thing that we realized multiple times in this episode, later on as well. Like, whatever someone says, she just believes it. <clears throat> okay, um, so then that was that. And uh, Anya and the dad goes to the supermarket, I think, yeah. Mm, damn, that was cool. Like, the whole ribbit, you know, the guy's like ribbit gives him like a change. And <laughs> inside the change, there's like some code worded things written and the mission details. And he, she, he decoded that. That was cool. I like these type of cool, like, you know, like spy stuff that's happening here. <laughs> Honestly speaking, I'm not even, I'm, I've never watched a spy, like, you know, show like this before. Never, I think. Yeah. Like, so this is really interesting. Mm, okay. So, uh, a new mission comes in. Okay. The mission is, uh, Saturday at the same time when the party is happening, uh, target will meet the buyer. Um, no, wait, wait a minute. What was the mission? Retrieving art pieces that were stolen from the West and eliminating the smuggling ring. There you go. So, okay. Now, he takes uh, his friend with him. Uh, I need to check out his name. Uh, I'll check it out later on, you know, the name of the friend. 
uh, takes him with him and you know like as always chaos you know like they start fighting and uh, he's like i need to do it quickly otherwise you know like i'll miss the party and just like you know the shooting everything is happening he just keeps like you know defeating like people one after the other one's coming he just kicks them again again and again just he's, he's like a superhuman <laughs> like I, I doubt any spy is like that like he's like a superhuman spy so yeah he, they get everything and uh, it's like jewelry and everything and he takes one diamond ring which was for her and i think he was probably going to like you know give it to her and say something like oh like you put this on your ring uh, like you know finger so that when we go to the meeting that interview in the school you know like uh, it, it'll look like you're my wife something like that i thought uh, i think that's probably what he was going for that's why he took the ring so okay now yoru is all alone just standing you know like it's late it's like oh i've been stood up <laughs> and she goes to the party and oh boy oh boy the three you know like uh those three of them are there and they're like oh you, you didn't bring your partner just talking behind her back like ah oh, typical toxic behavior mm, dominic you know like is like uh talks with her and she's like can you tell my brother that you know like i brought someone here because i don't want to worry him and he'll like you know he'll not take his promotion if like you know he, he gets to know that i don't have anyone and in comes the blonde haired um girl and she's like oh you shouldn't lie to your brother blah 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 just pouting nonsense and uh, you know like all of this was happening and she gets pissed off she's like like what what did, what is he, she getting by doing this and she's like you know what maybe she, i should just kill this whole like you know everyone here and like then like, if there's no person like you know like uh i think what was the, the the expression dead men tell no tales i think that that's like the <laughs> saying for this like you know yeah if, if everyone's dead no one's going to tell anything like so he's, she's like yeah maybe i should just kill everyone then she was like no 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 i should not do that and just like you know like <laughs> nodding her head and uh, she just sits down feels like you know sad just looking at the situation everyone's just talking gossiping behind her back this that and she's like you know what let me just leave and as soon as she says that uh twilight comes in and oh boy she, he hasn't even been able to clean up bleeding and everything and <laughs> it was like what happened like well, what is this i thought he was going to say something like oh i fell down a car almost ran me over or something like that but he says that oh like you know, since i'm a psychiatrist my <laughs> my patient gets a little gets a little violent and i'm like all right that's also like, you know, a reasonable excuse, I guess. So, <laughs> and, and here we go. The blonde girl starts fuming with jealousy. She's like, oh, how dare she get a, like, you know, such a beautiful person. And, you know, like, she's like, oh, let me just mess with her. Uh, takes the, uh, like, hot food or whatever. Trips, obviously, deliberately. And it was almost going to fall on her and i knew she was going to do something she just kicked it off and just fell on her nose the whole like you know a little food <laughs> and yor is like uh, not yor sorry twilight is like oh you shouldn't do that that's improper to use a leg huh? and you know what the funny thing is yor actually thought that uh twilight would actually be very like you know get very what can i say uncomfortable with this you know the way they were she was fighting like you know later on as well you know the way she was fighting and everything and you know like how she took like you know took care of that bowl but since twilight is also a person in this type of an occupation he's actually impressed you know <laughs> which in turn yor was actually surprised about because all the time i'm pretty sure a lot of people you know like became afraid of her or uncomfortable with her as soon as she did stuff like this while twilight is not even batting an eyelid oh and this girl she starts talking about how she like you know before this she went to some massage parlor or whatever like you know did job as that and uh, like i like you know like it's obvious that she that was just a cover for her job you know as an assassin and uh, but here's the thing you know uh, uh what's his name uh twilight twilight doesn't know that twilight doesn't know that she's an assassin Still, he says that oh that's you know that's okay completely fine she's here's here's what he says she did all she could 
to care with for her younger brother yeah and 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 that's this show that she he probably like you know learned about her past and everything be it for someone else or for a specific reason having to endure a merciless job requires an incredible amount of dedication and that's something to be very proud of and uh, yeah so here you go like he he actually relates him his own self with her you could say that's why he said all of that because he also does the same thing for the betterment of the world he, he's doing a job as a spy and then they go out uh, you know like they are like taking the car and uh, oh boy um the other like you know the the, the people who are following them comes in and uh, tries to ram them in with using the car and everything and Twilight is like oh they're just my patients you know then it gets a bit rowdy at times you know <laughs> silly <laughs> you know silly them they just get a little bit rowdy you know no problem uh, like, it's, it's fine <laughs> and the thing here is you're actually is accustomed to all this so she's not even panicking so then they go and like you know like he he just like and they try to get him he he just knocks him out <laughs> and then you know like one of the attacks he wasn't able to see and you just kicks them out and you're here as, as i said like you know she's like oh my god i messed up you know like now he's going to get like you know conscious for, for like you know in front of me and going to get afraid of me which probably happened before as well you know uh, with other people but since twilight it's in, in this type of work job he he's like oh damn that's a good kick <laughs> he doesn't feel anything amiss here he's just like oh this is just a normal day you know <laughs> fighting like you know <laughs> fighting people like kicking them out and you know just getting attacked from behind <laughs> just a normal day <laughs> and he doesn't feel anything is abnormal here and yor is actually surprised by that <laughs> and she's like oh i'm sorry i i you know i interfered with your job and he's like it's fine <laughs> and uh Okay, then they're running, and then Yor is like, you know what, uh, like you know, Mister Forger, we should actually get married. <laughs> Just falls down, <laughs> and she talks about how you know, like, okay, here's the thing. Yeah, he talks about how she talks about how she is like you know considered suspicious since she's single, this and that, and she's like you know, uh, for that I want to get married, and I think you're perfect. Uh, and in her in her mind, she's like, yeah, I also want to continue my assassin job. And obviously, like you know, uh, Twilight was looking for a wife, so he's like, all right, like let's just hand in the papers then while we go back. And <laughs> that scene, and then the amazing scene comes up. You know, uh, he he tries to get the ring which he was going to give her. It just fell off somewhere. Okay, where is that part? Yeah, he finds a grenade, I think. Yeah, he grabs a grenade. I saw that. He grabs a grenade, <laughs> takes a pin off, throws it towards them, and puts it on her finger. <laughs> One of the most amazing scenes ever I've ever seen, and I'll probably never forget it anywhere. This was the scene I was talking about up until now, and oh boy, it's, yeah, that was that was perfect. And they say, like you know, he says that even in sickness, you know, like uh, no matter how whatever hardship awaits us, and in their mind they say, like you know, she says like until my assassin, and she he says something about until my job or something. Okay, or in sadness, no matter what hurt hardship awaits us, let us be there for one another until my mission, and she says like until my killing do us part and that's where it ends beautiful episode fantastic what what a way to you know end this and uh, yeah that was that was great you know <laughs> i was waiting for this episode and it's finally here uh, as i said like you know after this i don't remember anything so it'll be like a completely blind reaction for me i might remember a few parts but i doubt it will be much and I didn't even read much after this as i said like i read, read two or three more chapters after this then I stopped. 
so yeah like and i'm excited to see where this goes so that's it guys thanks for watching this was my reaction to spy family episode number two so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of spy family until then goodbye and have a nice day